Welcome back again, everybody. We are here with another new property. I'm Jay, Cody's on camera, and we are exploring in Portugal. And we are showing this house today on behalf of Monica Zamosh, and you can reach her at IAD Portugal. We'll put her information down below in the description section. So if you're interested in this house or any other house she has listed, you will find her information there. And today we are standing outside this beautiful three bedroom, two bathroom house. We are in a very nice, very cute little neighborhood outside Pedrego Gran. We've been here a few times before. It is a town we're very familiar with. But if you're not, we are about an hour and 45 minutes to both Lisbon and Porto by driving, pretty close to Coimbra. Pedrego has restaurants and shops and uh, cafes and grocery stores, schools, all the things that you will need to live life here in this community, in this little neighborhood here. And I'm gonna have Cody kind of scan this way and turn around and scan that way because we are in a very cute little neighborhood. Go ahead, Cody. <laughs> Yeah, so right down here at the end of the corner here of the road, there's a small cafe and market where you can get your kind of daily needs. And then you have your two car parking spaces. Yeah, right there very gate. easily. And you have this beautiful stonework all along the outside and a lovely little tile side mural garden. as oh, well yeah. here in this lovely little kind of more English garden. I would say, yeah, where it's more tidy and kept together. It's a very nice though. There are there is a little bit of land behind us as well as this little yard here, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But a little bit more about the area. Um, we are within a five to ten minute drive of both Pedrego Grande and then um, Castanera, and Castanera has the uh, wave pool that I hear is pretty fun, pretty cool. So you're very close to that, right in central Portugal, in the heart of everything not too far from anything at all. And you can easily get there within an hour to two hours of driving anywhere in the country. Again, standing from a three bedroom, two bathroom house. And this is a very big house. Um, might be the biggest one we've looked at so far. It has 347 meters square. For my Americans, that's about 3,700 square feet. So it is a sizable house. It is three stories. Uh, it has 935 meters square of land. Uh, that's a just a little bit under a quarter acre. And that includes the front yard here where we're standing, as well as the back property. There are some fruit trees. We'll see those when we get to the side yard. They're on the side yard and a little bit in the back as well. In addition to the two parking spots up here, there's a driveway behind us. Church bells. <laughs> there's a driveway behind us as well as a garage. So we have another garage and this one is attached to the house. So a very nice, convenient, uh, little property that's just very well kept and comfortable. Uh, it is completely walled in. So if you have a pet, you will have the ability to let your pet out to run around and they won't be able to get out. This is a very high fence here as well as in the back. So a big dog, even a little dog. If you have a dog, they're gonna be very happy here. They can run around a lot. The house itself has central heating as well as air conditioning. And we'll show you a few details about that when we get inside, but that is a very nice thing to have here in Portugal, especially on a day like today. It's a little chilly out today, but the sun is starting to come out. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. It is very comfortable in the house. We have a diesel heating system. Actually, let's go over here and take a look at that right now while I'm talking about it. So right over here is the access to the diesel tank. The diesel tank is stored in a storage shed that's outside. So you do have to have that kept separate from your house. In this case, it is out here. The access is down here and further access down below. We'll see that when we go off to the side. And then your, the diesel delivery truck just has to pull up right here. Easy in, easy out, quick load. Right here, I want to point out the nice shutter system that they have here. This house has shutters as well as screens on every window, which I have never, I have yet to see screens here. So that's pretty exciting. If you uh, don't want to let bugs in, if it's a really buggy day, you can lower the screens. We'll show you that. Actually, I wonder if I can, ah, right here. I don't know if I'm gonna, oh, there we go. So there you go. You just lower this down and you have a screen. As you can see, you've got screens on the windows. You've got the really, really dark shutters. So if you close these, it is very dark inside. No light will come in. Double pane aluminum windows. 
this is a very nice efficient house uh, we do have the garden space over here and it is irrigated so there is some water that comes through here very low maintenance very easy maintenance as well oh I also did forget to mention we are very close to the IC8. So if that is something you need for access to where you need to go within the country, you're very close to the IC8. And as far as sun direction goes, it's getting nicer. It was very foggy when we got here this morning, but the sun is starting to come out. I just, I think it's over here right now, but we are facing west. So I am facing west. So the back side of the house where most of the yard is faces east and then of course north and south so sun direction that's where you're going to get you're going to get most of the sun in the back of the house versus the front of the house and that is actually where most of the windows for the living room are going to be facing uh, south and most of the windows for the bedrooms are facing north and we'll see that once we come inside which I think I've covered everything out here, so let's head inside. You enter into an entryway, and there is a couple, you know, this is a bit more of a traditional Portuguese house in that every room kind of has its own section, but that's really nice for heating and for cooling in the summer because it can you can temperature control each area. Uh, let's start actually in the kitchen. Usually I start in the living room, but this this house it makes a little bit more sense to start in the kitchen so you come through that entryway there right away we do have a pretty nice sized pantry it's located under the stairs you can store food in there your coats jackets whatever you want to kind of stash away it out of sight and coming into here it is a very nice sized kitchen so they do have the table the dining room area set up in here they even have a little couch i mean it's big enough that you could fit both the dining table and some seating. They even have a TV in here so you can watch the game while you cook. And then the kitchen has everything. It is a fully uh, stocked kitchen. So there is a washing machine here. There is a dishwasher as well. So in some houses you kind of have to choose if you want the washing machine or the dishwasher. This house has them both. It also has the gas stove and the oven. Um, pretty. Oh, this is big. It is big, but it does feel cozy too. And I like the location of the, the kitchen here because it's more of like in the center of the heart of the house. Yeah. Your All your views are going to be south facing. You have a beautiful this little, is east. little terrace right here that you can, can access actually head outside there. with this door or with this door right over here. So that door we couldn't get unlocked, but we will go out this door and you will see there is an outdoor kitchen space. So let's go outside and check that out right now and we'll get our first peek of the backyard as well. Uh, again, on the door here, they do have the aluminum door. So very safe, very secure. This wonderful little wrap around balcony, it wraps around two sides of the house, the back side as well as this side. And a lovely view. Yes. Oh, it's see when we got here, it was really foggy and we couldn't see it that well. And now seeing it, that is very lovely. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're looking out at neighboring properties. There's not going to be building happening there. You might pick up a little bit of building noise because there is a house going in across the street, but it looks like it's pretty much almost done on the outside anyway, so that you won't have that noise for too much longer. Got this nice little warm outdoor kitchen that's right. slightly enclosed, it looks like. Yep, so you can actually, there is a there is a shutter. I just forget how to close them after the fact, but there is a shutter that can come down right here. And there is something that, it's like an awning yep. that can go out. So you can see the sun, it's right over here. It is southeast right now. It's going to get very sunny in here, which is really nice for it to be warm and comfortable and inviting. But if it gets to be too much, you can lower that awning and you can lower the shutter here. And that gives you a little bit more shade and privacy. We do have the outdoor kitchen here. We have the bread oven, which is, that's, that's a pretty nice one. Uh, you can make cool. bread in there, make pizzas in there. And then also have the barbecue over here. And 
Yeah, and you have an outlet again. So if you want to set up a little bar out here as well, you have all the things that you need and easy access in and out of the kitchen, which again, unfortunately, we don't have the key for this door. So we weren't able to go out it, but it goes right into the kitchen on the side of that peninsula there. And, and yeah, with all that stone, I once you get a, a fire going, it's going to help warm the house on the inside because it's backed up against the, the right. staircase that we'll see here in a little bit. A little bit. So um, the yeah, stone here, just beautiful. It's very, again, it's more traditional Portuguese. It has the stone. It kind of has that um, enclosed layout, but it feels bright and spacious inside, even though it's actually pretty cloudy out today. And then right behind this door, you have two split units which one is right here in the kitchen above yep. the doorway. And another really nice feature that I love about this kitchen, being a kind of a kitchen guy, is you have this fireplace Let right here this. in the kitchen. So the fireplace right here uh, does go through both to the kitchen and the living room. So it's a two-sided fireplace, which is really nice. I don't think I've seen a two-sided fireplace here yet. So um, it, you can, we'll go over there, of course, but if you go through, it opens up into the living room. Just open them both up and you can heat both the kitchen and the living room with the same fire. Very nice. Nice little countertops with your little breakfast bar right there. And, and this for... looks like quartz to me. Yeah, this is definitely quartz. Very nice, actually. I really like this countertop. You have the tile up against the wall. So like Jay said, a very big kitchen, but surprisingly quite cozy. I can see myself, you know, having some tea and sitting down and sitting by the warm fire here. Nice light feature right here too. It's got a little rooster on it. I love that. And this was the kitchen. And now we're going to go check out the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, I'll explain, the living room is where the staircase is to go down. So we'll visit that last going a little bit out of order than how we usually go, but this is how it makes sense in this house. Again, this house has two bathrooms and three bedrooms. This is the first of the bathrooms. Everything in this house, again, this is a big house. 347 meters square is a pretty sizable house, and this has a really nice big bathroom to go with it. We have a very spacious dual vanity right here. Come on in because I'm gonna have you swerve around here. The toilet and the bidet are kind of hidden over here, which is kind of nice because if you have two people kind of moving through the space, you do have a little bit of privacy, even if there's somebody else in here. The shower has the rainfall shower head as well as the handheld. And I love this tile. Like it's very bright and cheerful. And again, we do have the uh, privacy window, but there is the shutter or the, yeah, the shutter. <laughs> you can close the shutter and you have a lot of privacy in the space, but it's big, it's bright. It's just very welcoming. Very clean feeling too. Yeah. And then heading over here, this is the first bedroom and this is the biggest bedroom. I wanted to point out really quick, you do have the um, diesel heating system here and you also have the air conditioner up there. And this is every room. Every room has that. So every space can be kind of set to whatever temperature the person who's using it is most comfortable with. And again, a very nice, big, spacious room. I do believe queen bed, but you could easily fit a king. Even like if you put it this way, you can fit a king and still have the dresser, still have the chair. There's room for a bigger bed in here if you want it. And lounge space, just it's a nice, comfortable room. And then I'll have Cody swap spaces with me to show that this room has not one, but two built-in closets. And they're pretty big. You know, they go back really far. Again, if I did the arm thing, I can't touch the wall with my arm going all the way in. It's a deep closet and it goes up really high. These are high ceilings. I mean, Cody, you are, we could probably stack two of you on top of each other almost. <laughs> yeah, I can't even touch it if I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I, I definitely cannot. And Cody is again, very, very tall. He can't even. So high ceilings, um, really nice closets, very tall. And again, we have his and her closets in this one right here. So plenty of space for all of your things. You do not need to bring in any furniture to, um, fill, you know, to put your stuff in. You have the built-ins here. But then, of course, they also do have a nice big dresser in here. 
and they fit all of that in without it feeling cluttered in here. And that is bedroom one. And bedroom two, same thing. It is a nice size bedroom. It's not quite as big as the first bedroom, but it's very close. This one also has a queen size bed. You could easily fit a king. And again, you don't have to get rid of any furniture to kind of fit the bigger bed in here if that is what you want. Uh, we have the nice big bright windows right here. Open them up. And we've got the screens right there. And it's interesting because when I open that, I can tell they're listening to music. I can hear people talking. But when I close it, nothing. It is very, very quiet in here. So even if there is construction happening over there, which there will be for a couple more weeks, you don't notice it because of these nice double paned windows. Um, again, we have the heater or the split over there. So you have your air conditioning. So you have a choice between um, the electric or you can have the diesel heat right you here. Also have the option for wood burning too, which is centered in the, the kitchen two sided. Living. Yep. fireplace and downstairs is a whole separate stove as well yep and again another very 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 tall i mean look at that that is you can fit a lot of things in there and i like this one it's got the built-ins right here so the built-in shelving uh, as far as furniture goes it might be negotiable so that is something that you can bring up if you are coming from abroad or if you're moving in from a smaller apartment and you don't have quite as much furniture you can negotiate furniture into the price some of it might be leaving, but they may be willing to leave some behind as well. So all things that can be kind of rolled into the package. All right, bedroom number two. And right over here is bedroom number three. I do want to point out this is not a real fireplace, but I like it. I think it's really pretty. It kind of adds to the coziness of this room. It is the smallest room, but when I say small, I don't mean small. It's, it's big. It's another big bedroom. This one has, I think, a double bed in it right now. You could fit a queen bed in it. A king bed might be a stretch just because the heater is right over there and it might get a little close to the, to the wall. But same thing, we have the double pane windows, aluminum shutters, and the screens that come down. Yeah, I, oh, I also want to point out they do have the, um, I think it's a laminate wood floor but it helps to kind of keep that kind of coolness in the summertime. summer, I think. No, cool, yeah, coolness in the summer, warmth in the winter. And it makes the room feel really bright and cheery. And I mean, the only light we have going in here is this one. So this window faces east. So you're gonna get a lot of sunlight in here earlier in the morning, whereas the master bedroom faces um, west. So you're gonna get it, it's gonna be a little bit darker. So depending on what your preferences for light in your bedroom, that's what you're going to get. Make a really nice kids room right here. Yeah. And again, incredibly high ceilings. There would be no problem putting bunk beds in here. Mm -hmm. And then you have the built in dressers and the incredibly tall closets. And a deep closet as well. Yeah. With the split and the boiler, like Jay said. Every room has kind of that same setup, the same feature, and they're big. They're going to be big, comfortable rooms. You can put a lot of stuff in here, put a lot of people. You can fit two kids in each of these bedrooms. So if you have four kids, easily fit here. And even though this is a three bedroom, two bathroom, there is room to put another bedroom downstairs. And we'll get to that in a little bit, but there's even an option to create an entire separate apartment downstairs. So this could be a two like unit house very easily. All right, we're gonna go on a little uh, little adventure. Hopefully, hopefully you're okay with this, Cody. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a three-story house, so we're gonna head upstairs to the attic. Um, make sure you start with the correct foot. Only thing I would say is just be Oop. careful if you're as tall as me, <laughs> because Once you, you gotta duck just slightly. Only a little bit though. I'm actually kind of impressed with how. But it's got railing. Yep. Careful right on your head right here. That is a little low at mm -hmm. the top of the stairs. Yeah, I have to crouch just. You do. We'll come bit. over here and then. Yep. In the middle, I can actually stand though. 
and you have this really big loft space which would make an excellent either kids playroom in my opinion or if you have an older child that wants a little bit more mm. independence and privacy this would make a very cool room for them as well. It could be an office. You could use it just for storage if you wanted to, but it is a finished space. There is tile flooring. The walls are painted. There's a nice wooden, it's not wood, but you know, a wood veneer ceiling. And it's huge and it goes through on both sides. So Cody, if you stay there, I can sneak around right here. So they have this big dresser right here, but if that were to come out, it would be a really nice big space without you know this division kind of in it or if you want to make it into two bedrooms maybe you got two extra kids you want to put up here there is room to kind of divide it off and create the two different spaces and i think that's roof access right behind you there in the door Let's see. unless that's additional storage i actually didn't look in here yep yep roof access could be additional storage but right now it's just kind of set up as roof access. Makes me wonder how they got this, uh, what is it, a dresser? It's huge, this thing is massive. Or, I'm not sure what you would call it, but I really wonder how they got it up here. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. Yeah, and it's, yeah, huh. I didn't actually think about that. But, but lots now of that space you said it, for how all sorts they? of things. The extra space is always nice. Always nice. Storage too. All right, I'm gonna let you go down. Make sure you start with the right foot. Now we're gonna head through to the living room. So the kitchen's on the left. Now so we're here's right. the door to the outside where the we came door. in and immediately to the right, we have the living room. Living room. So normally we would start with the living room, but this is also where the staircase is to go downstairs. And that's where we're gonna finish. That is the other side of the double-sided fireplace right there. So if you get it going, you know, it'll heat up the kitchen heat of the living room right here. Nice big space here for sure. I mean, they have two couches, still plenty of room to move around. I don't feel cluttered in here. Uh, they've got the TV and entertainment center right here, but you could put it up there and have even more space over here if you want to put like another chair or a love seat or something like that. Um, and again, the split unit is right up there. And the, um, so split unit right here, the heater is right here and the um, there's a door. So the front door again is right over on my left side here. So this door leads out into a little front patio area. Open this up, have some nice like airflow. And In then the put a couple chairs out there. In the summertime, really there. nice. Yeah. And what's really great again is this fireplace because I bet you can get this fireplace alone probably the heat most of the most house. Most of the house, very easily. Especially, well, it, it, the upper level at least for sure. And yeah. Be very comfortable. Uh, I did want to, I forgot to mention this, but I'm gonna throw it in here. There is solar paneling on the roof, but that is for the water heater. So the water heater is solar paneled and it also has the option to do electric heater, water heater as well. So you kind of have that choice there and everything is on main. So mains water, mains electric, main sewer. So the house is again, a very nice efficient house, especially with these double pane windows. These are all brand new. Very nice and efficient. The house itself was actually built in 2009. So it's not even an old house. It just is very more traditional. So it has kind of some of those more classic elements that make it feel a little bit older, but it's a nice newer house that was built with efficiency in mind. And then we're gonna go downstairs where you can section this off. I think there's even a door at the bottom here and close it off and have a completely separate apartment with a separate entryway. So if you live on this level in the attic space, you can park out there and use this front door. And if you live downstairs, you can have the driveway in the back as well as a separate entrance there. And then close this off and it would be two completely separate dwellings and or up, units. Up here when we first came in, it was a little bit cooler, but what was really interesting is once you come down here, it was actually quite warmer and nice it's probably because it's built into the hillside here little, yeah and so you is, have a lot of that kind of this is going to be below geothermal ground. heating going on it's a little darker down here but it makes it really nice and cozy so there is the door that you can close off to create a separate living space so it does lock off and then you have this 
huge, huge, <laughs> huge space. So this is completely unsectioned off. Uh, there's a room over here, a room over here, and they have a few things divided off over there. But otherwise, it's the entire length and almost the entire width of the house just wide open. So we have a table and chair over here, table and chairs over here. We have a couch, a nice big chair. They have a pool table over there. Uh, we'll get to the other spaces, but a lot of things. This could have a lot of uses to it, depending on what you need. It could be an office space. It could be an entertaining space. You could clear out all the furniture and have an indoor roller rink. It could be in-law quarters. It yep. could be for a college student that has more independence, a separate unit, or, you know, even your kids, or like the ultimate man cave. If you have <laughs> a, a lot of extra like the she shed. motors and things that you like to work on as a man um, or woman, but still <laughs> it's a lot of space for any kind of hobby. And then you got that bathroom yes, right there Yes, let's go the take corner. a look at that. So this is the second bathroom to the house. Um, it's not as big as the first one, but it still has a lot going on for it. You have the toilet over here. We have a single vanity, but it has some counter space to it. I actually really like this uh, kind of retro green built-in. And then the shower, this one, oop, yep, it's got it's the thing there. Right there. Um, I'll pull it back this way. This one has just the shower head but it of course has what you need to make it a full second bathroom. So again, if you suction it up, I'm gonna sleep over here. Three or four people could actually stand in here. Oh yeah. And I have seen smaller bathrooms. So this one's actually not Our bathroom's teeny smaller. tiny by any means. <laughs> and then over here, they have it set up as a bar right now. So again, huge entertaining space. If you wanna throw some parties, you could very easily do that and nobody even has to go upstairs to the second part of your house so it can be a separate private area full bar right here but this could be converted very easily into a kitchen we do have a sink and a fridge so nice bar area could be a kitchen so again a separate um apartment completely oh here we go i found the light so Huge space, lots of stuff can fit in here. I love the shelving and everything. This would be a very nice kitchen, or again, just keep it as a yep. bar. You very easily open it up, turn it into a kitchenette. I really love kind of the openness of it because you have that stove in the middle. I can see that being very warm to heat up the space. This will very easily heat up this whole space. Even though it's very large, it will be very efficient for doing that but you also do have the option for the electric heater that's over there. Um, and there's no split down here, but it is, it's, it's cool. I mean, it's cold today, but I feel like because most of it is below ground on this side, especially it's going to stay cool in the summertime too. And by electric, you mean the boiler? You have one over here. Oh yeah. And sorry. One over the, there the by boiler. the boiler. Um, so there's one over there, one over there. That's the diesel boiler, not electric. Sorry. Um, so you'll heat the space either by wood or by the diesel. You have the choice there. Let's swing over here because they have, so there, there is a wall that that's a built in wall. I'm guessing if you really wanted to, you could remove part of it and just leave it as yep. a pillar. You can take it down and just have the pillar there and then do like your kitchen along the, the wall there, the whole wall. But right now it's set up as kind of a dining space. It could be a game space. Again, a kind of fun hangout space pool table right here but again whatever you need the space for it's here let's go to this room over here because this is the room they said right now it's acting as like a storage workshop area let me sneak back so you can come all the way in um it's it's a big space it is open to the room through here and the other room over there through there but you could close that off you can see me in the mirror <laughs> You can close that off and this is big enough to be a bedroom. So if I touch the wall here, I cannot touch the wall over there. There's boxes here, so I can't really, um, but you could put um, a twin size bed in here. I feel like you could even put a full size bed and you would still have room on this side to have your dresser and a few storage things. So this could be a fourth bedroom if you wanted it to be, and if you wanted to use this space as a separate apartment. You really wouldn't take much. You would just have to close those openings that Which you I would mentioned, make them and you already have lighting coming in, so it's not that. gonna feel like a cave. No. 
once it's done either and replace that with a window if you really felt necessary. And then over here, if you turned that into the bedroom, this could become like a walk-in closet. Or a, a small second bedroom. Small almost. second, very, there's no yeah. window, so. I, no, no window. But lots so that's of storage, why I say this would probably be better as a storage space. Maybe an office space if you need it. They are using it for wood storage right now, so there is a space to store wood down here. Or just leave it as storage, because storage is always good to have. All right, now we're going to head to the garage. You know, actually thinking about it too, this is enough space that you could turn it into maybe a, a like a small business or something yeah. because you do have on the, the outside, which we haven't shown yet, the access to it. So yep. if you wanted your office or business kind of below and living quarters above. And it'd be a nice space for that. And here, Thank I'll let you, you in. It is a two car garage going back, so could very easily fit one car, even a bigger car right here. And then the car where Cody is standing. So it's a two car, two car garage going the long way. Tons of storage. Everything is kind of set up already to be um, a workshop. Maybe you're a woodworker. You can put some like saws and things in here. Have that nice space. It is a nice tile flooring in here so easy to clean and again just a nice big space everything in this house is nice and big for sure if you took out the built-ins too you might even be able to fit four smart cars in here it's pretty <laughs> wide but i was saying you earlier your if you're car. a motorsports person you can as you can tell keep your atv your motorcycles, motorcycles yeah all that stuff in if here you have easy. a lot of bikes you could put some bike racks up and store them up a lot of opportunity here, and this is just always a nice space to have. Always good. We're gonna head outside. Let me just, after you. Thank you, thank you. But definitely a guys, guys <laughs> club here. Right, you can tell it's what they have it set up as. I'm surprised, actually, do they have a TV over here? Yep, they do. Billiards yeah, table. Tube dartboard. I'm surprised they don't have like a tools, huge screen ATV, TV to watch their football the bar. game. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely set up to, yeah. as a hangout. Guys hang out. But it's what you need. It's the space and there's lots of it. And out here, there's the perfect space for outdoor entertainment. So one step to get in. So this would make really easy access for if you have like an in-law that you are um, taking care of. This is definitely, uh, so if you built a little ramp right here, if you have someone who is wheelchair bound or maybe they use a walker, or they just can't go up and down the stairs as easily, this would be the good spot for them to go. Uh, I do point. want to point out that we have seating out here covered it is a nice big entertainment space. So your parties can go from in there to out here in the summertime, open up the garage door. You've got kind of that indoor outdoor living. We have another cute mural right here. This is the Fatima, the miracle at Fatima, 90% sure. Three kids kneeling down to, yeah, that's Fatima. Is another reason I say this house is very good for entertaining, parking in the like property. So you could have, Lots of space Eight for cars. cars, even if you wanted to devote some of your your garden here to additional parking even. Yeah. You could fit a lot of people here. Over here, we have a mandarin tree. I don't know the difference between mandarin and clementine, but it's one of those two. And then over there is a nice, nice big orange tree. And they're, they're huge right now. Very fruitful. So this is the front gate. Uh, it does it's an automatic gate so you can open and close it as you come but then out here is kind of <laughs> another street nice little neighborhood nice houses they all have a nice like yard in front of them so you have both kind of that neighborhood on this side as well as a neighborhood on this side and they're definitely up and coming it's a newer area and like i said this house right here is just now being built should be done in a few weeks so you won't have to live with construction for very long but you have a nice neighbor who's moving in right there. There's street parking, but then again, come in here and you have all of this parking space. 
And I only have heard one dog, so still quite quiet. Yeah, and he's not as upset with us anymore because we're, he's over there and we're back here now. So I think he doesn't care as much that we're here. And just for reference, you have the little market here. Let's see. There is the little market. Right where that garbage can is, it's right you there. You can see the sign right there at the very corner Quick there. Quick little two minute walk, not even, like but one minute. But what's nice is you have some spacing from your neighbors, but they're still close. You're in a neighborhood, but it's a nice, it's a, it's a spread out neighborhood. It's not super, super tight. Your choice of entrances, if you want them to treat this as the front of the house or the back or the I other front of the house. Um, and, and You have this uh, nice services. low maintenance garden here in the front here. That wouldn't take too much to take care of. There's some Everything's roses Everything's already been here. thought out for you. Yeah. Some really, again, fruit trees here. There's some roses over here. And then we're going to go around to the side now. So you, oh, wait, let's actually go over here first. Just to show you, we won't go in there because we don't have the key for it. But that's the shed where the diesel tank Boiler. is kept. So that's, again, up above is where you would load it in and then down below is where it's stored. So it is separate from the house in a separate area. And then over here is a little bit of a side yard. Did we ever figure out what this one was? I, I don't think, think we... it might be a fig, but I'm not an expert. We're not tree people, we're sorry. But they're definitely um, fruit trees, and it looks like you have four of them right here along the side. This one right here is definitely apple because there's a couple remnants of apples on the ground. We did not see, they must have picked these because we didn't see any on the ground, so we're not quite sure what these two trees are. But this one is definitely apple, and we have another... Clement? Clementine or... Um, Mandarin. Mandarin, thank you. I think it's Clementine though. I think Mandarins are smaller, correct? And I won't be surprised if these three are actually apples because now that I'm looking at it, it looks like the leaves might be the same. See, it's hard to tell because I think these, I mean, the leaves have almost completely fallen off of these. And the only thing I could kind of see was there is one little, I don't know. Who oh, knows? That the... might be that persimmon fruit. Persimmon? It could be. Could and be. then uh, you have some grapes right here along the fencing. Yep, right there. All the way over. Yeah. So very lovely. And it looks like they just did some tree trimming right here. So that, you know, that's not going to stay. But you could plant a little garden over here. There is space over here to plant a garden. And if you look, I'm going to walk right over here. Um, you do have the irrigation system right here. Easy maintenance yard but it's, it's still a nice size yard. Let's finish up by heading up this way so we can kind of come full circle. A little bit of a side yard here. Again, they have the irrigation system. There's a hose right there. Um, again, city everything. So uh, mains water, mains sewer, mains uh, electric. We do have this. I love this actually. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> This little... The St. George? Oh, St. George! Biting the dragon. I didn't actually look that closely at it the first <laughs> time. But yeah, very cute. We're right back here towards the front. Here, so here's your little entrance going into the property with your additional car parking space. You could probably get... If you had a smart car, like one of the little ones, you could fit three cars right here too. So yeah, I would say two normal cars for sure. Two normal cars, but if you got our motorcycle, if you're if you're uh, if you're a car person, and for a little reference, this would be the back street as well, so you have access from the back all the way down to the little corner market there. But a very cute home. Very nice, well thought out. Yeah. And that's one thing I think a lot about Portugal is most people, like they have a lot of thought out. Properties. Properties, exactly. When right. it comes to the outdoor space and even the indoor space. So we space. have completely circled around to the front of the house. Again, uh, Cody and I are not realtors. So if you are interested in this house or if you have questions about it or any want to get any more information about the house or the area, 
contact Monica. All of her information will be down below, but that's it. That's the house today. So again, I'm Jay, Cody's on camera. We're exploring in Portugal and we plan to be back again very soon with another house tour as well as more Portugal content. So join us.